Hello and welcome to It Just Works. My name is Virtual Paradise, or you can just call me VP. Today we're going to be looking at the RTX 2070 and how it stands up to mining Ethereum in 2022, which will also translate to the same hash rate for Ethereum Classic, and ETC might be a viable option after the Ethereum merge. So let's get into the video. The RTX 2070 is still a pretty good gaming and a very good mining card. It was only released in October 2018, so it's still only about three and a half years old to today's date. Right, let's head into the mining room and check out the performance of my RTX 2070. So, to take a look at the 2070, I only actually have one plain 2070. But still, it's about the same efficiency as the 2060 Supers, the 2070 Supers and the 2080. So let's have a look at the screen. And as you can see, GPU number 4 is the 2070, and that's mining Ethereum at about 43.7 mega hash, at around 104 watts, this particular one. But it feels like it's going to be about the same performance and behaviour as the 2060 Supers and the 2070 Supers, etc. So you can lock the core clock to bring it under 125 watts, which is great. This one's mining at over 400 kilohash per watt, so that's great, 424 kilohash per watt. So I still think the 2070 is a very good card to go for, because for gaming as well, I think they're a little bit more powerful than the 2060 Super, even though they offer about the same mining performance, and still pretty power efficient as well. And because they usually only take one 8-pin, I think some 2070s might take two 8-pins, or an 8-pin and a 6-pin, for example, but because most of the ones I've seen only take one 8-pin, then they're quite easy to wire up as well. So if we take a look at what to mine, for the 2070, I've put the values of my 2070 in for Ethereum and Ethereum Classic, so 43.7 mega hash at 104 watts. And let's calculate that out. And at the moment, you can see that it'll be mining around $1.77 a day with 152 after power. And Ethereum Classic falls at around 122 and around 97 cents after power. So still very profitable at 10 cents per kilowatt hour even on my current electricity at the moment, I'm still profiting quite a bit, a good 55 to 60%, something like that. On top of that, I should be getting solar panels installed on my house in the next coming months, so that'll bring down my electric rate quite a lot, and that should help keep my margins bigger as well when Ethereum goes to the merge. Now, just having a quick look on eBay to see what the second-hand prices are like at the moment, and when I put in 2070, all it seems to come up with is 2070 Supers. I've seen one or two 2070s, but it just seems to be 2070 supers everywhere. But if you want to know what I think is a decent price to pay for 2070s at the moment, my target is under £300, or that would be under $400. So to conclude, I think the 2070 is still a great card for mining the Ethereum algorithm. It's easy to overclock and find the right lock core clocks in the mining software. Like the 2060 super, the card usually only takes one 8-pin connector to power and mining around 42 to 45 mega hash at around 100 watts, its performance is still competitive. So overall, I'm still very happy to pick these cards up at the right price. Well, that's it for this video. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the content or learned something new. Please drop a like, consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll catch you in the next one. Happy mining. Peace.